Guys, this is it. She's ready to show off. It's gonna be a beautiful day this coming Saturday. Let me show you what I've been working on. Lawn is looking absolutely stellar. Some of the stuff that's been taking up most of my time up here is setting up this area fixing the deck. I know you guys probably saw that whole comedy bit. That thing's all squared up. There's curtains going up on there on Saturday. It's gonna look beautiful. Had to work through and get all the weeds out of the beds. Bring in another 15 yards of mulch. Put all through and freshen everything up up here. And just make sure this was a weed-free and beautiful lawn. So, I have a tiny bit of time not much. I'm gonna go ahead and put the robo mower down as low as it goes and have it cut this whole thing out so it's just nice and short and tight for Saturday. Now, let me show you some of the construction projects that I've been working on that really have taken up most of the time and I gotta say I'm pretty proud of. Let me show you. So the biggest thing, the longest thing, what's been taking the most time and energy, effort, hours and hours and hours was this change right here. For those of you who don't remember, this was sort of that hardscaped area. Nothing but pavers out here. Redwood deck, built up, stained, brought it up a level of about, eh, it's a little over a foot. Tied it in over here so that it has a nice flush step into where we dine in the summertime kind of added a little bit of extra stuff over here. If you remember, this was the gazebo that used to sit over my hot tub. It's not that any longer. In about four days time, I built the she shed. Look at this. Not too shabby. It's a little workout room right here. It's got a great view. We're gonna get a little desk and some things in here, still kind of have to finish that off, but this was a lot of work, and I have to say I'm, I'm pretty proud of the way that it turned out. Very epic little house. Let me show you the outside. Okay, so here's the cool thing about this. All of this stuff that you see here, all the siding, obviously it matches the house. This is all stuff that I've had saved from multiple constructions that have gone on around here, so all of this is basically reused, recycled and it's pretty freaking cool. So, the whole thing's set up. It's beautiful, it's stained, it looks awesome, heavily insulated. And then I finally took this little area here and blended it into the rest of the beds. These tables aren't gonna stay here. This is actually where the driving range will be, but we need extra seating for kids and stuff for this weekend. So all this gets a nice flow right up here and onto the golf green. And that's something. So there she is, uniformity, finally. Everything is all flowing together the way that I always wanted it to be. Everything is cleaned up and looking beautiful. The grass just looks incredible right now. Now, interestingly enough, 
I've had to do a little extra irrigating lately, even though we've had little storms and stuff because it's beginning down to freezing at night. And in the rest of the neighborhood, down below, and kind of if you see the colors back there in the back, everything's changing here and grass is going dormant. So I uh, hit it with iron today and I'm just trying to keep it flushed out and green because it's getting cold. Fortunately, we've got some good sunshine coming, especially for the big day. And this thing is just gonna, the next 48 hours, it's really gonna flush up and be a nice dark color. So that's basically what's been going on around here. A lot of work, a lot of team efforts, a lot of building, just making this place look epic. Now, I gotta say this, cause now we're coming into October and I'm only gonna put one more feeding out on this lawn. I'm gonna hit it one more time with green charge and I'm gonna wrap up this year with about 1.1 pounds of in per 1,000 feet on this whole lawn this year. Pretty much nothing. After getting through the course of the season with the robo mower, highly recommend. Uh, game changer. Your life will be forever better. There are no weeds. It's just the grass stays flush and uniform all the time and I absolutely highly recommend it. Now, for you real mowing folks, again, you know, I've talked about that Hudson Star over and over and over and, you know, we've given them away and everything else. Uh, you'll never find a better manual reel mower, number one, and number two, the precision of that cut is insane. So, um, you know, I know that many, many people are finding out how glorious those mowers are. So if you're coming into the end of the year and you're thinking about going shortcut grass or, or looking into something like that, just take a look at the Hudson's first, get down to a tenth of an inch if you want to, high performance turf. I mean, it looks absolutely stellar all the time and I'm cutting different shapes and things into it all the time and just having a ball with it. So again, that would be the thing. So next month, this is going to be kind of the close out here. Snow is going to be flying before too long. I'm going to hit it with my last dose of nitrogen, put this whole thing to bed, and then we'll talk about some of the other things to kind of close out the season. But anyway, here she is. I couldn't be happier. Thank you guys for all the support this year. It's been a crazy one. Thank you guys for being part of this. I will talk to you all real soon. See ya.